Cash flow over net worth. Which would you rather have? I know some will say both. Some will say net worth, some will say cash flow. Today's video is going to focus on why it is so important for you all, men, to focus on creating cash flow in your life over accumulating net worth. The ideas and concepts that you have been taught over the last 30, 40, 50 years have been all about accumulation, right? Accumulating, saving money, investing money in your retirement accounts, qualified retirement accounts, and saving money in your emergency funds, sinking funds, money market accounts, uh, savings accounts, CDs, bonds, right? Safe places, right? That grows money little by little. You've been taught to accumulate for 40 years from age early mid 20s when you first start working all the way up to 59 and a half or 65 and a half retirement. And then once you hit retirement, you're supposed to have enough money that you can live off of, AKA liquidate, distribute from the assets that you built over those 40 years, okay? The issue that I am witnessing as a 26 year old working with average ages anywhere between 35 to 55 years old and up, what I am witnessing, okay? This isn't opinions, this isn't statistics, I'm witnessing that my clients that are over the age of 50, approaching retirement within 10 years or less, simply do not have enough cash flow. They simply do not. I'm witnessing this. Mothers, fathers, families, doctors, uh, nurses, construction workers, people in tech, engineering, the salon industry, barber industry, um, even sales people in these different industries, pharmaceuticals, government paying jobs, contracting work, you name it. These are all walks of life, all different religions, all different cultures. I'm seeing the same thing over and over again that my clients, okay, if you're watching this video, you're a client, comment below. Let me know if this is resonating with you. If you're new to this channel, if you're just stumbling on this content, comment. Let me know your thoughts. If you're around 50 approaching retirement within 10 years or less, and be honest with me, like, do you have enough cash flow in your assets that you've been saving for the last 30 years, 25 years, 35 years, 45 years, 40 years? Okay, I am seeing it time and time again. People simply do not have enough cash flow to live off of from their pension, retirement, and social security and savings. They still do not have enough cash flow. Why is that? I believe that the financial ideas and the financial concepts and the financial philosophies that you have been given either by your mom and dad or a financial guru like a Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman, okay, have been steering you in the most ineffective route possible according to money in the 21st century. They have been steering you incorrectly. Don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure you've built some good discipline. I'm pretty sure you live below your means. I'm pretty sure you know how to save and you invest a portion of your money and you give a portion of your money, you save a portion of your money. I'm pretty sure you have good habits with your money, but good habits is not enough. I'm telling you right now, you can be as good of a person as you want with your money and you can have amazing wonderful good spending habits and saving habits and investing habits that's all wonderful but if you don't have a strategy to actually multiply multiply and increase cash flow you are simply not going to have enough this is my warning to the millennial generation this is my warning to the baby boomer generation that you're in your mid 50s or there's people in between the late millennials i think they're in your like 35 and then there's a generation in between that if i'm not mistaken gen x yeah 35 if i'm not mistaken um you're getting crushed right now in your finances you have to wake up i'm this is my warning i'm waking you up okay and there's other youtubers out there exposing you to these misleading ineffective financial strategies they're great strategies they're great in theory i'm not i'm not like denying it i mean but i'm looking at the results 
of what great looks like and i am coming to the conclusion that it is ineffective poor results so you can have a great concept a great idea but it can produce terrible results it's just like any entrepreneur that has a great business idea right if you're an entrepreneur listening watching this comment below tell me how many great ideas you've had they were great in theory and you executed on that great idea and it resulted in a terrible result you get what i'm saying so something can be great in theory an idea but terrible in result now when it comes to creating cash flow it is a great idea that produces phenomenal infinite results let's take a look at the board so we're going to be looking at which is faster net worth or cash flow okay would you rather build a business to create two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year in cash flow per year or would you rather save and invest your way all the way to 6.25 million dollars in your retirement account your 401k account which is faster because the moment you realize which is the most logical answer to move with i believe that your current strategy is going to flip you're going to do a complete 180 okay it is so important to evaluate the great financial idea the great financial strategies that you have been pitched by mommy and daddy and your uncle or your grandpa dave ramsey really important to look at your personal finance at the end of the day it's your money it's not dave ramsey's money it's your money you may be listening to a pastor that's could be potentially guiding you in the wrong direction my goal as cousin d the personal finance geek of the 21st century is to simply run the numeros run the numbers starting with your four major numbers what's coming in what's going out how much debt obligation do you have and what's your free cash flow at the end of the month and what can we do with that free cash flow to multiply it i don't want to grow your money i want to multiply the money multiply goes faster than grow than growth than rate of return okay do you agree with that comment below multiplication goes faster than addition right and growth and compound interest goes faster all day every day so let's look at it 250,000 a year in cash flow or 6.25 million in a retirement account did you know that if you wanted to accumulate 6.25 million in your retirement account you would have to save or invest you'd have to invest forty thousand dollars a year for 40 years earning 10 percent with no losses in those 40 years so factoring in no losses and without factoring in inflation and without factoring in fees in the account itself you'd have to save forty thousand dollars a year for 40 years the average american barely has 500 to a thousand dollars in their savings account so why did i say 6.25 million okay i use that number to be able to generate from the four percent rule two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year in income okay because here's the reality, folks. For those of you who are single moms, single dads, husband and wives, family, households, here's what's happening. The middle class is getting wiped out. We're literally going to have rich and poor, nothing in between. That is what's happening, whether you like it or not. There used to be a time where making 60, 70, 80 grand was good money. That is nothing today. That is very little money today. Those of you, who are living in poverty, making 10, 20 grand a year, right? You're poverty, poor, right? Lower class. I think middle class is when you start breaching like 50 and 60 and then up, if I'm not mistaken. What I tell all of my clients, wherever you're at, okay? I've dealt with people making as little as 20,000 a year. My whole thing is take that number, 20 grand a year, 30 grand a year, and multiply it by 10 that should be your goal to create right to go from twenty thousand a year to two hundred thousand a year because the amount of time that it would take to accumulate any kind of money worth looking at at that level 20 30 40 grand a year it's going to take you 75 to 90 years to to even save a couple hundred dollars a month to have anything worth looking at and i'm being very hard because i'm 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 telling you right now the models that you're being given right now by your financial advisor talking about how to reach a million dollars 
almost two million dollars 1.5 million dollars that is gabash is nothing a million dollars is nothing it is little i'm telling you it sounds like a lot of money to someone that's making 20 grand a year i used to be in that range making 20 to 30 grand a year low class below middle class poor i used to be in that so a hundred thousand dollars was a lot of money ten thousand dollars was a lot of money five thousand dollars a lot of money but that is temporary okay that is short-lived that is small think a lot of money is dependent on the amount of cash flow that is left over after your cost of living expenses vacation next everything after everything is spent whatever is left over cash flow that is the true number that we should be looking to solve for so solving for a million dollars two million dollars three million even six million dollars all right there's another reason why i use 6.25 million dollars is because it's such a big number it sounds like a big number to everyone watching here for the most part but i'm going to show you how little it really is at the end of the day and why it's so important to focus on cash flow creating cash flow vehicles over accumulating a net worth of a million to six million to however many million dollars like it's, it's not effective I mean, i'm going to show you why so coming back to the board 6.25 million dollars you'd have to save forty thousand a year for 40 years at 10 percent compounded with no losses not accounting for fees not accounting for um did i say losses already yeah so without accounting for losses or fees or inflation devaluation right using the four percent rule if you had 6.25 million dollars that would get you 250,000 a year okay the tax rate ordinary income tax 36.21 percent so minus 250,000 okay minus 90,525 from 250k then you minus i didn't even include inflation i just showed inflation is also eating at your money but i didn't even factor it in i just went right over to your average living cost which is 35 percent okay on average americans spend 35 percent of their income on living living costs that's like necessities not vacations holidays birthdays um you name it entertainment going this is living 35 percent. so minus eighty seven thousand five hundred. then considering 6.25 million dollars okay we're we're assuming that the person on the board here is in retirement 59 and a half to 65 or older right what do you do when you retire you want vacation you have to account for vacation right a lot of people do not account for this in their finances they only account for how they're living today they don't realize the amount of inflation and the other things that you'll be doing that cuts into your money and you also a lot of you are not accounting for taxes tax is your number one expense right 36 percent off the top 90 grand gone so you just got 250 90 grand gone 87 grand gone vacation 10 to 15 grand on average american spends per year minus 10 grand giving let's say you give 10 percent. that's 25k a year Healthcare costs because you're older right average senior citizen spends a little over 6500 dollars a year on health care minus you are left with a net cash flow of $2,500, a little over $2,500 a month, okay? Net, you deal with a surgery, car accident, health, right? Any type of emergency, you might be, okay, you might be. Look how much money you need just to get this, 250K a year, just to net that. And it took 40 years, right? Now in order, for this money to continue to grow <clears throat> you would have to continue to earn at least 10 percent a year because you have something called fees which your broker your financial advisor never goes over okay, so you're getting hit with fees hidden fees whatever fees they do mention they don't go line by line so you're getting hit with annual fees on your account so let's say first year into retirement you're 65 or you're 59 and a half you earn 625k 10 percent of 6.25 million minus two percent fees right 125k minus the four percent rule of withdrawal say 250k your account grew by 250k so now you're at 6.5 million great end of year one let's go one more year let's just say you earn nothing you didn't earn you didn't lose you earn zero zero percent zero dollars 6.5 million times two percent 130k in fees right annual fees then minus 250k that's your stream of income you're down to 6.12 million go to year three let's say year three you lose 10 percent of your account 
All right, so minus 10% of 6.12 million minus 2% fees minus 250K income, right? Your stream of income. Your account goes all the way down to 5.135 million. Do you see how quickly your money can run out? And you're in year three, if you retire at 65, you're 68. In just three years, the money went down. And what you have to understand is losing 10% is much more than earning 10%. Because when you lose 10%, it's the same number, right? If I'm not mistaken, 6.12 million times 10%. You lose 10% of your account net worth, right? So it goes down. But in order to recover, you have to like double up just to break even to get back to 6.12 right so if you try to do the math on figuring out percentage wise how much do i have to earn to get back to 6.12 million that is really hard to do when you don't have any control over what the account does okay so in addition to saving and investing your money you're at the the mercy of the managers managing your account you have to pay an ungodly amount of fees you're gonna get hit with taxes on the withdrawal part but while the account's growing you're getting hit with fees and you're subject to losses can you imagine being 65 years old in 2008 when people lost nearly 50 percent of their 401k imagine having 6.25 million in 2008 on your 401k and the whole market crashes and you lose $3 million, $2 million, $1.5 million. And then what? You still got to live. You, you retired. You got to live. So you have to do your 4% rule. You got to withdraw money on top of losing money. You got to withdraw money and pay fees. Regardless of the losses in the account, you still have to pay fees each and every year. Do you see that the whole idea of accumulating your money via investing in retirement accounts that you don't have control over and you're subject to fees, taxation and losses and devaluation and inflation? My friend, which is faster? Do you want to take the next 40 years of your career and save up this money even with your match? Dude, I, I'm, I'm working with hundreds of families. I've never met a single family to date that has accumulated over $6 million in their total amongst all their qualified retirement accounts. I have not met one person in America, not one family in America that has accumulated that much money. What I am seeing on average of Americans that are approaching retirement between 50, 59, 65, I'm seeing a hundred grand. I'm seeing 350, maybe a half a mil. I'm seeing 200 grand. And on top of that, they have loans on their 401ks. On top of that, they still have a mortgage. You know, they were told that when they were 20 or 30, that by the time you hit retirement, that their mortgage would be paid off. That didn't happen. So I'm still, I'm not seeing the logic here. So for my clients watching, new subscribers, loyal subscribers, kingdom citizens, you have got to pivot. You've got to shift your strategy from trying to save your way to wealth and invest your way to wealth via these retirement accounts these these so-called retirement accounts you're getting killed versus if we just took the next five to seven years the next five to seven years where you so from 50 to 57 from 60 to 67 five to seven years to create just one cash flow vehicle that can produce 250,000 a year or more or take wherever your gross income is now and multiply it by 10 so if you're making 50 grand a year 70 grand a year multiply that by 10 500k a year can we take the next five to seven years to create a cash flow vehicle that multiplies your income by 10 your annual gross income multiply that by 10 over the next five to seven years how do we do that well i can tell you it's not going to get done this way by saving investing your money in crypto by saving investing your money in your 401k by saving investing your money in the stock market no 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 it's not going to work like that no we have to tap into our purpose we have to tap into real business real tangible business ideas that produces sales that produces activity that moves economies that increases gdp so that you can have the necessary cash flow after all bills and expenses are paid left over to then allocate that cash flow into these asset protection vehicles such as 
retirement accounts, cash value life insurance, um, HSAs, Roth IRAs, self-directed accounts, okay, real estate. I have no issue with the retirement accounts itself, right? Or the idea of an account that you put money in and you earn a compounded rate of return. I don't have no issue with that. I have an issue with your financial strategy. I have an issue with your financial philosophy. I have an issue with your financial mindset. You've got it backwards. You're trying to acquire the account first, and then you're relying on the account to feed you. That's backwards. You need to create cash flow, and the cash flow covers your cost of living, right? So you should be focusing on creating a cash flow vehicle over the next five to seven years that can feed you and sustain you work that you do one to a multitude of times and you keep getting paid over and over for the same work and then you get to a point where the cash flow covers all your needs covers all your requirements to live and sustain your body right and yourself and maybe the family friends around you your immediate family blood around you let's just say wife and kids husband and kids right whatever it is and then the free cash flow from that, we should be then acquiring these asset protection vehicles that can protect the cash flow in the event that the cash flow vehicle say fails or goes out of business. Well, now you've got these accounts that can help sustain you. And even in the event that you lose a cash flow vehicle, you now have the knowledge to restart again and more than likely the time because the timeline on the left side five to seven years why five to seven years well your personal finance geek of the 21st century has been able to produce a cash flow multiple cash flow vehicles within four years okay so i almost doubled it and i said you know between five to seven years i believe that i can help people produce a cash flow vehicle generate at least 250,000 a year or more in cash flow within that timeline versus the 40 year stretch, right? 40 year savings, 40 year uh, uh, working, and then you you retire, right? And I'm, I'm showing you a huge number and what little it results in when we map out everything versus take this little number, 250,000 in cash flow, right? Or I should say revenue through a business the primary difference between both columns is taxes that's it that's what changes the whole game why because taxes is your number one expense so if i can reduce 36 percent if i can reduce your costs by 36 percent right average tax rate on the business side in the small business 19.8 percent so nearly cutting from 90,000 to 49 nearly cutting it in half Right now, here's the more interesting thing minus all these same numbers, just from reducing tax liability, net cash flow goes to 5,958 as opposed to a little over 2,500. Just from reducing tax liability, it's a different way of income, it's a different you've redefined the money. This is ordinary income, business income, business income you have the ability to reduce your tax rate to zero through business. You have the ability to reduce your tax rate to zero. Here's the other beautiful thing. You can start with zero dollars. You can be broke with an idea. You can go net work and collaborate with little cash flow, zero dollars. You can use debt effectively. You can receive capital, resources, people, partnerships to build your idea to to conduct and operate in your purpose there's more flexibility here folks and you have more time because at least in this you could fail miserably and still produce wonderful results what do i mean by that well <clears throat> let's say you're making four grand and you spend 3500 and you're in debt 250k and you cash flow 500 bucks so that's six thousand a year all right again you can build a business with little cash flow, possibly with zero. You can use debt. You can receive capital, help, resources, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? More flexibility, and it can be done in five to seven years. So we set the goal from 4K a month multiplied by 10 is 40K a year. I'm uh, 40K a month. If you can generate 40K a month and you know how to live off 4,000, okay? Check it out. So this would be the goal. 
$480,000 a year, and even if you fail miserably and only make $100,000 a year, you more than doubled your income. I don't think you'll be upset. I do not think you'll be upset. If in this timeline, you go from 4K, 40, oh shoot, I think I messed that up. Yeah, 4K a month, right? 48,000 a year to 100,000 a year in five to seven years. I don't think you'll be upset. And let's say you're 30 years old. So from 30 to 37, you went from making 40K a year, now you're making 100K a year at age 37. You're making 100K a year, you're making six figures. Awesome. You are now slightly above middle class. Not bad at all. And you probably are generating a lot of cash flow if you maintained the same lifestyle. You know how to live off just this. And since you got all your wonderful, um, minimalistic, frugal lifestyle from Dave Ramsey and Susie Orman and all these um, debt-free millennials that are frugals and the, and the fire movement, since you have that already, great. Let's build a cash flow vehicle with those good habits. And then now you've got all this extra cash flow just from the 100 grand. And because you know how to double your income within five to seven years, now you're, you went from age 30 to 37, can we just repeat it? Try again, the next five to seven years. So by age, say 42, five years later, 100K, what's the goal? All right, we gotta multiply that 10. So now that's, the new goal is 1 million. Seven, seven years later, you're at 100 grand, you have to multiply that number by 10. So now the goal is 1 million. And again, let's say you fail miserably and you only get to 250K. Again, you doubled again. You doubled again. Look at you. You 4X'd in a 10 to 12 year period. 4X'd your income. So now you're 42 generating 250,000 a year from your cash flow vehicle, your, the, the idea that you created that you came up with, turned it into a cash flow vehicle. Now you're producing 250K a year. You know how to live off 100. You knew how to live off 4K a month, 48K a year. For the last seven years, you know how to live off 100 grand. Take the same frugalistic, minimalistic, fire movement approach, Dave Ramsey approach, manage your money, live below your means. I love all that. That's great. You make my numbers look even better. For those of you who have that mindset, you make my numbers look even better, right? So let's bring all those nice little habits you have, and I'm coupling it with an amazing cash flow strategy that produces phenomenal cash flow results, right? So now you have 250K, you're at 42. Can we do it again? Seven years later, only seven years later, you're 49 years old. What's the what's the new goal? 2.5 million? Let's say you uh, you know, you've got some experience under your belt. You're no clown. You've got some experience under your belt. You 4X. Let's say you actually, you actually 10X from 42 to 49. Now you're generating 2.5 million a year. My friend, which is faster? Save your way to millions or cash flow your way to millions? Comment below. Look how amazing this is. You know, you know how to live off 250K a year. Take those same habits, Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman, Fire Movement. Take those same habits, bigger pockets, right? All those financial gurus you listen to. Take it, keep it. I'm not trying to interrupt your good habits. No, keep it. And your religion too. Keep it. I'm just coupling it with a cash flow vehicle. $2.5 million you're now generating at age 49. Can uh, can we do it again? Why not? Why not? Fail miserably and only make 10 mil. Fail miserably and only get to 3.5. Fail miserably and only get to 5 mil. Th this is failing. The goal was this. You only got to 3.5 mil. Again, I don't think you'll be upset. That's the whole point. You expand the goal so big. You think so that you shock the nation. You shock the ministry. You shock your household. You inspire those around you. Because if little old you making four grand a month can go from there to 2.5 million, if little old Denzel starting at 22 in reality, starting at like 18 years old, and now 26 going from making 10 to 30 grand a year to now generating on average 350k a year 10x i don't think this kid is is upset last year 2021 my revenue was 332 grand what do i have to do take 332 times it by 10 3.3 million is the goal to hit in 2022 even if i fail measure and make the same number another 350k i will not be upset why 
because I'm choosing cash flow. The cash flow covers my cost of living. I then take the net free cash flow and then I put it into vehicles. Now, me personally, I don't touch 401k because it has loss, I'm subject to losses and I have to pay astronomical fees and I'm also subject to taxes. So what do I do? I acquire tax-free cash value life insurance vehicles. I acquire tax accepted tax-free vehicles, syndicating real estate, totally small business, self-supporting ministries. I acquire real biz, real businesses. I engage, I sell, I produce, I create content. I do so many different things, affiliate marketing, network marketing, referral marketing, sales marketing, network, you name it any type of marketing in the social media space what i'm getting involved with because these create cash flow vehicles if i just do youtube alone if all i do is continue making youtube videos for the next seven years i've been doing it four years now so go another three years right in four years i got to 43 42 43,000 subscribers as i record this video and over 3.3 million views in four years add another three years do you think i can get to 100k i think so after doing something for so long you get what good at it you actually get skills and talents from it after you've been practicing it for so long you eventually get good right you're better than beginner so i'm gonna get better and map that out if all I do is continue to do YouTube for the next 20 years, do you think I can get to a million subscribers? And what would a million subscribers result in cash flow? What would that result in? I mean, we can look at my current numbers now. Why don't we do that? Let's go, let's go look at my um, analytics on my YouTube channel to see how much money YouTube alone, not the products and services that I sell on the back end, not my courses. Let's just look at YouTube alone, one social media platform, just one. How much revenue that has generated. And if I just continue for 40 years, what could that result in? Let's take a look. Taking a look at the YouTube channel has gotten 3.3 million views thus far. It's April, 2022, approaching the Last week of April here, as I record this video, estimated revenue to date, $43,724.55. Just looking at the subscribers alone, not the views. If we look at each and every subscriber, we take, we take $43,724.55 divided by $42,300. Each subscriber is worth a dollar and three cents. So if I just kept that number, right? And over the next 20 years, I acquire 1 million subscribers. Would I not make $1.03 million, right? Just, I mean, on the low end, a million dollars over a 20 year period that could result in a multiple five or low six figure income from one cash flow vehicle. Work that I do one time that gets paid over and over and over and over and over again. And so at 26 to 46, that's 20 years, I get to 1 million subscribers. And then let's say from 46 to 66, retirement age, right? Let's just say maybe I'm at 3 million subscribers and the channel generates over three to $5 million. Why not? And that'll result in a multiple six figure stream of income on a yearly basis. Multiple six figure stream of income could easily cover my cost of living denzel knows how to live off 30 40 grand a year in income like i know how to live off little and you guys know how to as well how do i know this majority of americans make under what 50 60 grand a year majority of my clientele is women women on average or i should say moms moms on average make below the average income in america so they're below the average the average is like below 40k and if you're a single mom the average is like less than that, all right? I know that you know how to live off little because if you didn't, you'd be dead. You would not be breathing. So the simple fact that you're watching this video and you're making 20, 30, 40, 50 grand a year, peanuts, broke, but you're living, you're alive, you're surviving. How do we take what you have and create a cash flow vehicle rather than try to accumulate those little dollars that you have? I, I just showed you the math. You're not going to get there in time. I just showed you the math. Look at 6.25 million. What's the likelihood of a single mom reaching $6.25 million? What's the likelihood of a single mom 
reaching half that number in a 40 year period. By the time I actually access the single mom, the divorced mom, the widowed mom, the moms in general, by the time I access them, reach them, they're already in their mid 40s, 50s. So time is against them and money is against them. As for the rest of American, uh, average Americans, time is against you, money you lack. So you lack money and you lack time because you're in your 40s and 50s. And your plan is to save and invest your way to wealth. Ma'am, sir, mom, dad, it's not going to work. Look, I know some of you don't know me yet, okay? I'm 26 years old. I got a lot to learn, but I have even more to give. This is my give to you today. I hope you gain a lot of value from this, okay? I showed you some analytics on my YouTube channel alone. I'm a nobody, I'm nobody. Some little Puerto Rican Colombian kid from the from Queens, New York. Grew up without a father, single mom, low income household, standing at 5'8 today, weighing in at about a buck 50. Who am I? I'm nobody. Didn't go to college. I didn't get into any college. Shoot, I'm lucky if I get into freaking, uh, what do they call that college? That, I don't even know what it's called. It's not a university, it's the, you know, it's in between. It's where the people without money go, right? Whatever that college is called. Lucky if I get into that. I got a, I got a terrible, um, I remember getting like a 1200 or 1300 on my SAT and a 16 or 18 on the ACT. You don't get into any with, with numbers like that. Um, I don't have any academic skills. My comprehension skills are terrible. I read a book, I can't tell you what I read, okay? Um, speak one language, you know, what more do you want? I'm a nobody. And this nobody is generating multiple six figures a year. Talking to people who are double and in some cases triple my age. And they're treating me like, like royalty. Why? I decided to follow my purpose. I decided to rely on my author rather than money. You know, on this YouTube channel, I talk a lot about money. I talk a lot about money so that you can become a master over it and it not over you. So you can serve your true master, who is your manufacturer, your creator, the author of your life that has authority over your life, that has a will over your life because they created you. So if I go to the manufacturer of a product, right? If I go to Apple and I go to the manufacturer, I'm gonna get all the details, all the, the purpose, the, the product details, the instructions, the manual, the manual, I'm gonna get it all if I go to the manufacturer. And that's my second warning to you, is I think a part of your financial strategy, your financial philosophy, your financial mindset, you have to have that purpose, that will for your life from your creator, from your manufacturer, you need to know what that is. I would argue you need to know what that is. At, at the very least, you need to know what your gifts are, what your skills are, what your talents are at the very least. And then you turn, turn the keys of your gifts into cash flow vehicles that attracts money, right? It attracts money rather than taking the money you have now and extracting it from your body. Money is energy essentially, right? So you're extracting your energy into a vehicle and you're hoping that the vehicle creates financial freedom for you. It's not gonna work. Or it'll work, but it won't be enough because a great financial idea can produce terrible financial results. I proved that to you earlier. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, the personal finance geek of the 21st century. I hope you found a lot of value to this video. Click the links in the description below. You can reach out to me on my website, filling out a contact form, seeing upcoming events that I'll be doing, get on my email list. Let's build a relationship, okay? I have a lot of resources, partners, people I work with on many different levels that offer my viewers and clients many different services okay i don't do everything but i can specialize in certain areas to help you and i can guide you i can point you in a direction where you can make a decision on your own to get all of the resources that you need okay so with that being said have a wonderful day god bless and we'll be talking soon